Great chance. Cooper must make it four. He does. Oh. I think I would have to say now that this is the greatest team that Aberdeen have ever had. Aberdeen have definitely won the championship. Aberdeen with McGee making the break. And Hewitt waiting in the middle. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bringing Back the Glory on Football Manager with Aberdeen. Since I last saw you, we've played two games. We beat Motherwell 2-0, Matty Kennedy and Ryan Edmondson with the goals. And we also beat Hearts at Tynecastle, Scott McKenna and a Ronald Hernandez free kick. That's interesting. Unfortunately, however, with one game to spare, as expected, Celtic have won the league. Four points clear of Rangers and five points ahead of us. There is one game left to play and for us, that is against Rangers. Normally it would be very important, bit of a dead rubber, just really bragging rights, but if we do win, then we can go above Rangers, which isn't much to brag about. However, it would mean we went into Europe around later on and bagged a bit more prize money as well, which could be crucial in going ahead and building a squad to challenge for the title properly next season, providing Stuart Milne doesn't just pocket all of the money. Here comes the money! Here we go! And the team for the aforementioned Rangers game, Joe Lewis, Shea Logan, Mikey Devlin, Scott McKenna, Jake Vaukins, Niall McGinn, Shane, Shane Ferguson? No, not Shane Ferguson, plays for Millwall, Lewis Ferguson, Dean Campbell, Matty Kennedy, Edmondson and Eamon Brophy. Subs bench, Thomas Cherney, King Considine, Craig Bryson, Curtis Jones, Curtis, 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 Curtis. him. Izzy Azui, Michael Ruth and the mighty Milan Barros. The aforementioned Rangers game. Who do I think I am? And the team for them today. Angry Man Allen, Angry Man Flanagan, Goldson Katic, Kirkiksov, Kirkiksov, um, Tom Tribo, Joe Rebo, Voldemort. I'm not bitter at all. Don't know what you're talking about. Yanis Haji, Shea Yojo and Alfredo Morelos. And kick off at Ibrox. Let's get into these schmucks. First highlight uh, is Rangers way, Morelos, Haji, Joe Rebo, and Tom Tribal. Come on, nick it and break, nick it and break, come on. Yanis Head, uh, I can't say his name, Yanis Haji, it's not that hard. Morelos, they're working it nicely, saved by Joe Lewis. Now again, nods it down to Edmondson, back to Devlin. McKenna, don't lose out. Kennedy, he's got Vulcans on the outside of him, doesn't use him, doesn't need him apparently. Working this quite nicely. Edmondson, 1-0 at Ibrox, get in. That takes us up into second place for now. I'm happy with that. Bring Edmondson, come on. You've done quite well early in the season. Come back in. What? Why have I not done this before? Yeah, good question, everyone. Just shut up. Lovely goal. Stop talking now, Callum. Great header. Lovely. Angry man, nowhere near it. This is nice. Second. Who's that? What's that? I don't know. I can't stop singing the song. That's what I should be saying. Who's that? What's that? I can't stop singing this song. It's been in my head for like a week now. Flanagan. Tribal. Come on, let's nick it and go. Manager's name I can't say. Ojo. Ojo. 1-1. One, one. Okay. Photo. No. Hi. Okay. That was short-lived. Fairly whack that in, to be fair. This is more entertaining than the Kilmarnock game last time. And the Saturday game, so far. I mean, Shea Logan, I don't know why I brought him back in. And under Joe Lewis as well, so that's good. Well done, lads. Nice one. Another highlight now. Logan into McGinn. Let's not lose it. Ferguson. Shane Ferguson, apparently. Oh, gives it away. I've literally just said, let's not use it, lose it, and we've just given it straight to Ojo. Thankfully, his shot was straight at Joe Lewis. Returning the favour. Thanks, Shea. 1-1 one, one as we go into half-time. Motherwell and Celtic also leading. No, those games don't matter a jot right now. Far from pleased. Everyone's fired up. They're ready to run through walls for me. Probably end up with a concussion if they get that, so maybe don't do it, but I appreciate the thought. Nice of them. Just tell them to counter-press a bit more when they lose the ball and to get the balls in the box nice and early, since Edmondson's in there as well. Quite a danger. Not much happening. Kent's gone for Haji. I, I keep, can't say his name. What's going on? Right, time for us to make a couple of changes. They've made all of their changes, just realised. Now McGinn goes off for Ismail Azui and Brophy comes off for for one last time, the mighty Milan Barros. If he scores now, all is forgiven. I thought we had a corner there, apparently not. 
Oh, we do? Oh, no, we don't. What is going on? Ten minutes to go. Cortis is coming on. Ferguson's had a shocker. Why not? Gone attacking. Go for it. It's going to even demand more as well. Shout at them. If we could nick a winner, that would be lovely. Logan with a throw in into Zui. Not been much going on in the second half. Katic clears and they come away. And they're going to score, aren't they? Kent tackled. Only Camberry straight at Lewis. Rubbish, really. Edmondson now. What was that? What is this? What? What is this? For what? Why? Kent free kick. Please don't let them uh, oh, wide. Don't, that had a lot of bend on it. Not much happening. Probably going to be 1 1. Normally, ooh, Lewis with a goal kick. Kent cuts it out. Can we win it and break? Kick Kamara. Have it. That was shocking. Lewis, not a goal kick. Campbell wins it this time. McKennedy. A late winner at Ibrox would be lovely. Cortis. It plays through Edmondson. Finish it. Fin no, somebody. Just, uh, Milan, that was your chance just to poke it in and become the hero. Oh, Rangers corner. In the last five minutes, been absolute carnage. Free kick. Free corner. I keep getting the mix up again. I don't know what's going on. And that's full time at Ibrox. 1-1. One, one. Not great result. I mean, it's okay. We finish third. They finish second. We go into the European Euro Cup, whatever they're called on this first qualifying round. Miss out on a bit more money, but not that gutted. Maybe a bit of extra time to bed in some of the new players in some actual games that mean something. Not that fast. Annoying that we didn't pip them seconds, to be fair, but if you're not coming first, we're still qualifying for Europe. Doesn't matter that much. Just got an achievement on Steam to say we can see the least goals. This season, so quality stuff. Dundee United are staying down as well. Sorry, Martin Stevenson, if you're watching. Hamilton literally stayed up on the last day of the season on goal difference, by the way, and then beat Dundee United in the playoff final. We can't get rid of them. Their heads against the fucking wall. Fuck! We can't beat this guy. We can't beat this guy. We're trying everything. Celtic also won the Scottish Cup. Is anyone really surprised? I hate to think of the Christopher Julien hoops upside your head post after that. That would be just awful. Fort William made it to the third round of the Scottish Cup. That's not real stuff. And that is where we'll leave it, folks, for today. The next time you see, I've made some signings, there'll be some new faces. It'll be lovely. Maybe no Milan Barros or Curtis, though, so. Won't be much content, really. But if you did enjoy this episode, please do hit that like button and leave any comments down below with any thoughts, anyone who should maybe keep an eye out for to sign. And also do hit that subscribe button as well. It does mean a lot and it will help you find out when I post more because, you know, everyone loves them. Everyone loves the videos. Who doesn't? Nobody loves videos, Callum. You just carry on what you're doing. Just, it's fine. Thanks very much for watching, folks, and take care. 1.34 million. That's very generous, Stuart, man.